After this next story, it seems possible to me that there's nothing that science can't do. There's a new report in the scientific journal The Lancet that shows that vaginas can successfully be grown in a lab from women's own cells and implanted in their bodies. This is incredible. Four young women in the U.S. born with either missing or abnormal vaginas have undergone the transplant process and they basically take a biopsy from the not fully formed vulva and they grow the vagina in a bioreactor and in the follow-up tests after they do the surgery and everything they learn that the vaginas are functioning a hundred percent normally quote the women report normal levels of desire, arousal, lubrication, orgasm, satisfaction, and painless intercourse. Now, they do say that none of them have conceived yet, but they are menstruating, which suggests that pregnancy will be possible. I mean, it's incredible. Think about what I just told you, man. And think about the fact that it's amazing I got through that entire thing without cracking a single joke. But look at that, they create, can, they can make vaginas. They can make vaginas. What's next for science? We did the story where they made an ear on a dude's arm. Like, how the fuck do you do that? They, like, implanted it, they made out of, like, a few cells an ear, a new ear for a dude who lost it. All right, that's odd. They were cre able to create hands off of legs. The list goes on and on of shit they could do. Even just shit we take for granted now. Like, the idea of a vaccine that can stop polio. Like, polio affected a tremendous amount of people at one time. Millions of people all over the place. Now, in the modern world, it's eradicating. We were able to take something that was a massive problem, and we found a cure. Like, oh, you know that thing that might destroy your life and kill you young and make your quality of life disgusting? Yeah, we beat it. How? What did you do? Even in theory, how did somebody come up with, like... Well, I think the process we should take is X, Y, and Z. Like, just the, it blows my mind that there are people smart enough that were really able to problem solve at that tremendously high a level. Where you get to the point where you go, all right, we figured out what leads to it. This is what it is. We figured out how to fix it. We just got to create something that makes your immune system respond in this way. And the way to do it without actually hurting the person is to get the core of the virus, but take out the stuff inside of it and then put that in the body and then the immune system will fight it. And then from then on, you'll be good. Like it, it blows your mind, but now they're fucking growing vaginas, man. There's no end. I don't like it. Think about, and this is on limited money you know, limited budgets across the world, scientific funding. If we had uh, an administration in the U.S. or we had people who are serious human beings in the world who said, oh, I get it. The scientists know what the fuck they're doing. The scientists and the doctors and these people over here, they're actual smart people. They actually get it and they know how to try to improve the human condition. So let's go ahead and invest billions into that. I love how we waste billions giving money to Raytheon and Boeing and KBR and all the defense contractors so they make tanks and bombs and planes and shit that explode, go kapow, and then we blew all the money. It's gone. It's done. Billions of dollars wasted. The 900 military bases all over the place. Wars. Seven trillion dollar wars, which were the fucking wrong country that we invaded. We spent unlimited money there, but science? Oh, I gotta slash that budget. Why?! Do you want to survive? Do you want to increase, you know, the average lifespan? Do you want to get rid of diseases and viruses and all these problems? And do you want to make vaginas? I want to make vaginas.